and welcome to Nev's Gaming. Oh, wow. I hope you enjoyed the last episode because that was industrial madness. Oh, that was very, very frustrating. My head was absolutely boggled, especially when no, none of the cables just didn't seem to work or want to work for me. Very, very frustrating. But that's not what we're here for. No, no, no. First things first, we need to check on our 20, well, 210,000 block gathering that our digital miner is doing so let's go take a cheeky little peek in this building in here if we go through here how are we getting on we're on the 90 thousands now and it looks like we filled all our storage because this is now filling up so we need to increase our storage let's go further around as you can see i've now increased the road leading all the way up to here ready for our next build or what we plan to build here but if you can hear underneath, you can hear, hear some mobs. I've got some space underneath that I'll need clearing out. Let's take a quick drop down there. Look, you can see I've got some space under there. Some dark areas where spiders like to spawn, so I need to fill that in. And then we've got this area here where the digital miner is mining out. Oh, if we take a look there, look at this big hole. We need to fill these gaps in because the water is dripping down. So there's a lot to do today, a lot to do today. Uh, I had tried to do some bits in between episodes like this. We've now added a auto crafter to here. So remember last episode where we were getting the fluid extraction to get the latex. We've got the petrified fuel generator. That's going to be powering all this. Uh, if we check, where are we? So this is now collecting all the fluids. The latex fluids going into here which will be transformed into these little pallets which then go into the furnace here as dry rubber but not before getting packed into this auto crafter again just powered by a bit of redstone easiest thing to make i should have done it last episode but i was just catching up on myself Ooh, big intro make sure you like and subscribe if you're still with us at this minute in time i also want to show you something else while we're here if we take a quick run down to this road we've got this little house and the reason I've stopped here is because when I was about to destroy it, I came across a few bits of redstone. So let's go take a cheeky look inside and see what is actually going on. We've got an ink mixer and what looks like a lectin there and a lectin there. But there's this button and I've yet to press it. I've been too scared to. So uh, should I press it? Should I press it? What's in this chest actually? Hmm. What is in this chest? So we've got some ink and we've got some pages. I'm not from Mr. Craft. I'll have to look into that into the future. For now, we'll store them somewhere. But uh, let's press this button and see what happens. Oh, destroy the button. Uh-oh. Let's try that one again, shall we? Let's push this button and see what happens. Oh. It was a trap. There was TNT underneath there, and it blew up. What? What? How? Why would someone do that? Why would you put TNT there? Like, no way. I was not, generally was not expecting TNT to be there. I was expecting something else to just open and then we find something magical. Clearly not. Clearly I was wrong. Hmm. Anyway, let's, what are we planning on doing this episode? We are planning on making some crops for here. Uh, the reason being I want to make, I could probably put everything into one building. I don't want to do that though. Oh, well. I'm not going to do that for this anyway, no, because everything's going to be automated. So I'm going to have different levels in this building for different crops. Now, if we take a quick look at what we are going to be using today, we're going to be using the plant sower and the plant gatherer with possibilities in the future to use the fertilizer. Now, these are very, very easy to make. As you can see here, we've just got a few iron tools, a couple of gold gears, and then we've got the sower, which is even easier, plant pot and some iron gears and some pistons. Fabulous. We've also got something else that we're going to look at today, which is the range add-on, plus 12. Look how easy that is to make. You've obviously got diamonds and everything like that, but emeralds apparently in this game are more viable and more, well, the better option. Uh, when we move on to tree farming, we'll see there that we've got the shearing add-on. Woo! Uh, so that is the plan for this episode. So, uh, where do we start? I suppose I better make all the bits and pieces. That's the chest increase done. And our underground paradise now all lit up. So, I did say I was going to have everything next door. So, I was going to have all the crops in here. But then I thought to myself, why not just have one on top of here for logs? That way, we'll have an unlimited supply of plastic. We'll have an unlimited supply of fuel. And then we don't have to worry. This is then self-sufficient. 
I think that's the plan. We're going to go ahead with that. So let's crack on. The first thing I did was make a platform for all the the upper floor where the logs are going to be actually created. There's the dirt where all the plants and, well, all the tree saplings are going to be planted. I then created these, the plant sower to plant all the saplings, the plant gatherer to gather them all, and then some range add-ons for few, the future builds. If you actually sh hold shift over the plant gatherer, it actually tells you what you can actually gather from this. So sugar cane, cactus, pumpkins, all that good stuff. Which is a handy to know, especially when we uh, progress further on. So what I need to do now is I need to plant the actual sower in the middle. So this is about the middle of the area I've selected there. And then we can assign that. See, these are all the different quadrants uh, where we can plant like different trees and things like that. Or different crops if needed. We've got the seed input. We've got the energy items. And then we've got the energy so I'm going to have a chest next to here, feeding the seeds. I'm going to have the power coming in as well from there. And then on this side, we want just one simple block. Uh, we're not going too far over now. So again, that's about the middle. So we'll put that there. We want to put the plant gatherer down here, facing away from us. And then we are going to install a range add-on plus 12. Now, if we click on this, it should show working area. There is the working area. Absolutely humongous area, which we can actually work on. So that's going to stay there. And uh, then we are going to get another one for our... If we head up to the top. So that area can go now. So we can remove... Where are we? Hide working area, gathering trees, plants. So you can actually select what you want to gather. So I'm going to set that to trees for now. We're going to go in here. We're going to install this range add-on. And now we just need to link these up with power and link everything up with chests. That's the pipes all connected up for the, well, the logical side is where we're going to be transporting all the items. So if we take a quick look here, you can see that there's an item filter, well, there's a pipe coming from into this chest. If we click on here, you can see that I put all the filters in. And if we have a look in here, you can see nothing in there because nothing's in there yet. Uh, where are they? That's the cedar. This is where we want to go. That's where all the uh, saplings are going to go. And if we look in the cedar, you can see each quadrant is going to get planted with one of these. And I've locked it as well. Ooh, all right. Uh, why aren't you going in now? Uh, we'll figure that out, why that's not connected to that later on. Maybe it's kind of that is the power connected to each machine. So hopefully we can put some logs into this furnace now and it will actually power everything. We'll see. Let's go get some logs. Okay, let's see if this works. We'll put some logs in there. We've got the burn time going, the energy output in. Is there enough now for these plants to start planting? Why are we, we're, it looks like we're going to be getting sludge from this as well, which isn't ideal. Are you planting? Okay, you're on, oh, you're on pause, that's why. We'll play you. Now you should start planting. You're not getting any energy. Why? Is there not enough going to you? Okay, so I've hooked it up to our main energy supply there. Let's see if it's got enough energy now to start planting. No, so we're still not getting any energy in. Why is this? Let's check the energy there. So it's in either way. We're hooked up with energy. And there's plenty of power going into it. It's yet to start planting. Ah, there we go. For some reason it wasn't inputting the power. It was just, um, it was literally just there. It was, I had to change that to push. Uh, now it looks like it's planting. Let's go take a cheeky look upstairs. No, where, where is this planting? That doesn't look like it's planted anywhere. What's going on here? So we've got plenty of stored energy. Doesn't look like it's planting anything. How do we now change this? Have I got to set it off first? Oh, no, no. There we go. It's started. It's started. Fantastic. Turn off that red working area because we don't need to see that anymore. Right. <coughs> well, our tree farm is completed. And as you can see, the trees are now growing wildly. Why are they growing wildly? Well, one, it's taking a bit of time for it to uh, harvest all the trees. It's doing the leaves as well. 
because we have got this sludge. Now, let me just get away from those logical sorters because they were clicking loud. Uh, if we take a look there, you can see that it's slowly, slowly getting rid of all the leaves. Look how many logs we are missing out on there. And then throw that heart away. We need to get rid of the sludge. And the only way to do that is if we click on the sludge here, you can see that it's not used for much. It's not used for anything. It's all that, all that sludge. You just, you just fill it up into look, slink, slink, slurry, creative fluid tanks. It's not used for anything. It's not used for anything. So what's it? What's it any good to us? Well, if we click the fluid transposer, sorry, I had the wrong thing. If we click the sludge refiner here, you can see that it'll turn it into a multitude of blocks, and it can see the chance levels here. So we've got a high chance of soul sand. Red sand, sand, so uh, gravel. So it looks like we'll sort out our sand and gravel needs for concrete, which means we can start building this row out of concrete. And I've just realized I'm flying as a bat. But yeah, we can start building this row as concrete all along. So I'm going to hook this up to a concrete. Ah, uh, oh, that's noisy. I'm going to hook the sludge up into those chests over there. And then we'll proceed. The sludge is now getting pumped into here and we are getting our first load of items right now time to hook up to the chests and there we have it we have all the items that we're turning from the sludge oh we've got plenty of energy yeah but all the items turn into sludge are now getting transported into these chests down here oh and we should end up getting enough once we leave this running for maybe an hour to start making some concrete now if i move this along here I know we said we were going to start on the wheat, but uh, I kind of got distracted. If we actually check the concrete, I wonder if there's anything that can uh, just make it easy enough for us. So let's let's just go for a simple light grey concrete. Yeah, how do we make it? Thermal expansion, pulverizer, replication there. In but there is no nothing there to tell you how to actually do it so let's t check on the normal concrete let's just go white concrete so how can we make it pulverizer again apparently white concrete I'm not sure what that does but there we have it that's what we're looking for we are looking for the fluid transposer basically we stick the items into this and it makes it into concrete and i believe we've got one at the main base but i'm going to leave this running for an hour see what we get and then proceed from there so I may have accidentally not pressed record on the actual completion of the tree farm and the building of the next three automatic farms. My bad. Here we have the three, well, four layers of crops all built and complete. It does look a bit higgledy-piggledy because of the glass, but I've had to do that to stop things going in there, basically. Uh, top layer, we've got carrots going uh, as you can see there they split either way some goes to the chest some go into there if we can move further down we've got barley for making the bread so we can have our galactic burgers and then we've got two layers of wheat in order to produce enough crops for the breeding of the farm animals later on i am also now going to connect these sludges up to this here that way we can start getting more and more blocks out of it so we just need a fluid i am a bat by the way so and i have also been blown up three or four times now uh, so we want basic mechanical fluids we haven't got much of those fluid ones have we oh no go away zombies may have to get more of them that's the sludge connected up now and we are producing a lot more items they are coming through a lot faster and the sludge is filling and getting used a lot faster as well. But this tree farm is absolutely insane. Like, look how much... Wait, where are we? Where are we? Here we go. We're already on the second row of logs. And it is producing a ridiculous amount, especially this spruce. I might have to swap it out for some other ones in the future if we want to do some designing. But this... Monstrosity is now completed, and I am going to check of what we are producing at the minute. Are we producing anything? So we've got wheat in there. We, well, onto our fourth stack in there. 
we shouldn't have anything here. Yep, yeah, that's right. Moving on to here. So we've got barley coming in now. Perfect. We can make that for the galactic burgers, for the bread. But we haven't got any carrots coming in as of yet. Because the top half is not filled yet. What's that? Top half's filled with carrots. Then we should see some more coming in. And that's more sludge. To end the episode, I am actually going to look at this ship. If we have a look on the map here, I am currently about, that's why. There's these little ships that are dotted about everywhere. Ooh, what's next to it as well? It's like, ah, oh, that's a slime island. But yeah, we have these ships. Now, I've no idea what they are. We're all gonna go in and find them ourselves and uh, see what happens when we get closer. So we're gonna land on it, transform, and hope for the best. Okay, land in. Okay, nothing bad's happened yet. Let's transform back. Ooh, look at these cannons. Can we... There we go, yep. It's a, it's a head. Look at the cannonball. <laughs> My head's a cannonball. Right, uh, I should I should probably put some armor on for this. Uh, what are you putting you? Some gunpowder. We'll take that. Uh, anything? Anything at the helm? Anything at the helm? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's head back down the ship. See what else we can find. Ooh, uh, another chest. More cannibals. Nothing at the back. Okay, great. Just look at that. I might set this ship on fire, just for fun. Uh, but then again, I do like fire, so uh, that'll be why. Let's check underneath now. Let's go down the stairs. Be ready in case anything happens. No, nope, more cannons. I do like the design of these cannons. They are blocks of coal, so we could generally... Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got some weighted pressure plate. The button. Nope. I've really just got to stop randomly press Captain's key. Bottle. Okay, I don't know what that does. That's strange. What does... Ah, look at this design of the bed. Wait, why the chest locked? What if I do that? Oh, look at this. Here we go. All grabster. Created in Japan using Damascus steel. Okay. <gasps> we got some light glider, elytra, some diamonds, some gold. Poison from the... Oh, some emeralds. Right, I need to make room, so... You can go in. You can go in. I didn't realize there was all these in here. A few emeralds. What's that? Another pickaxe. More diamonds. Yes, please. Found bejeweled pickaxe. Aztec sword. Vandium steel. Forge in the map. We're going to have to check these. All this gunpowder. Look at it all. Right, let's head. Oh, looks like it's a bit flooded down here where the people sleep. Whoa! I wouldn't have thought it would have been flooded. Right, let's have it. Uh, it's just a toilet. Cauldrons. I want to know what's down there. But all this water is stopping me. Right, come on, we can do it. We can do it. Uh, come on, in, 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 in. There we go. Some wheat. Uh, you know, I'll take that wheat. It always comes in handy. Cool. Wait, why am I doing this? Why am I struggling when... Where's the mat tool bag? Why am I struggling? I'm making life hard for myself. Look, look, look what I've got here. I've got a sponge. Oh, all this meat as well. Raw beef I can utilize. I wonder what it does. Let's go down the mines. Let's go down the mines. Let's go down the mines. Check this pickaxe out, shall we? What does it do? Okay, so we've got a bit of insta mine. It's fast. Doesn't look like it's... 
There's a lot of mobs that direction. Look at you all kid out in gold. So that's that. What about redstone wise? You got a bit of fortune on there? Looks like it does, doesn't it? What else did we get? We got some wings, obviously. What else did we get? We got Japanese one. One, two, oh. That's definitely got a bit of looting on there. That's definitely got some looting. That is a good sword. Right. Let's go. Let's see how fast it is on cutting logs. Oh, wh oh, whoa. Look at that. Give me a big tree. Give me a big tree. Jeez. Why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I do this sooner? Instead I've been busy building industrial stuff and I could have been going around having fun like that. Oh, I'm such a wally. But I'm ending the episode there. I've been Nevs Gaming, you've been amazing too, Lou, and I'll see you and the wonderful people in a few. Good. Bye.